Right, a big field here at Windsor, but there's no draw bias at Windsor, and there's something to be said about removing all the draw bias from the courses for the league, modding all of them. Probably would make for a fairer league. Anyway, a one mile four, one mile four maiden, three hills and up. One is Al Manzar, Dan Hughes, Aragol Council, James Shea, Danny Magic, Patrick Hogan, William Rufus, Kevin Minigan, Dangerous Outcome, Joshua Sullen, Hills Patchy, Dan Hughes, Inferno Storms, Paul Rose, Raiding Party, Liam van Renswick, Rapturous Calm, Craig Allen, Ridgeworth, uh, Craig Beckwith, Terrible Ancient, David Robertson, Trapanga Eyes, Darren Thompson, Avalanche Obi Wan, Clockman Ballet, David Robertson, Fiddler on the Roof, Paul Rhodes, Hessian Duchess, Vinnie Gerard, Lucia Fury, Patrick Gogan, Persuasive Rose, Craig Allen, With the Power, Darren Thompson, and Zavonic Bell, Graham Clutterbuck, and the 20 horse field yard Windsor. And like I said, there's no draw by, so you can be drawn wide, it won't make much difference. And away they go. Raiding Party gets out way well, and it's Raiding Party for Leon Friends, but goes up to lead them from Inferno Storm. Then comes Lucia Fury, and the two uh, Paul Rose horses moving towards the front, but Radiant Party has gone back up to the front to lead from Inferno Storms and Fiddler on the Roof. Out wide is Al Manzar, then comes Winthrop Harbour and Persuasive Rose. Dangerous Outcome near the rail on his inside is Terrible Angel, then comes Clockburn Ballet. Yishin Dutch is behind that with Saphonic Bell, then Hills Patchy, Trapanga Eyes. Arrogant Council follows that with William Rufus uh, on the rail. Then comes Avalanche, uh, Ridgewood behind that, Danny Magic, then Lucia Furet and Rapturous Clown for Craig Allen at the back of the field. So Ray Radiant Party leads them from Fiddler on the Roof in second. In front of a storm is that one's outside. Then comes a uh, Clockburn Ballet for David Robertson. Travelling wild is Heeshan Duchess. On that one's inside is Winthorpe Harbour. Just beyond those is Al Manzar. Up on the rail is Terrible Ancient with Dangerous Outcome. Then comes Persuasive Rose for Craig Allen. Uh, behind that is Hills Patchy. Then comes uh, Danny Magic and Lucia Fury. Aracle Council. Then Avalanche. William Rufus near the back of the field. Ridgeworth is near the back for, Cra for Craig Beckwith and Rapturous Climb looks on from the rear for Craig Allen, but it's only about eight lengths off the speed of Raiding Party, and it's Raiding Party, it still takes him along. Uh, moving up on the outside, Almanzar, with also there is Haitian Duchess, dangerous outcome, he's also trying to make a forward move, or so to his persuasive Rose, travelling wide is Lucia Fury, trying to get going, now running on strongly is Terrible Ancient, but it's a Raiding Party in front from Terrible Ancient for David Robertson in second, the stable companion clock, but Bell is right there, also getting going now, the two poor rolls horses in first, Inferno Storms and Dangerous Outcome out wide is Lucia Fury. It's still Raiding Party with four villains left to travel. They all push along trying to get to this Raiding Party in front. Wintham Parby in second is making a move. Here comes uh, Persuasive Rose for Craig Allen. Persuasive Rose is finishing strongly. Raiding Party still in front but Persuasive Rose is finishing strongly with Dangerous Outcome. Glockburn Ballet is also getting going. Is Persuasive Rose trying to get to Raiding Party. Raiding Party hanging tough in front. It's still Raiding Party from Persuasive Rose and Glockburn Ballet. Then Dangerous Outcome and Inferno no storms. It's Barbadian Party still in front with a foot and a half to go. Persuasive Rose, persistent challenger on the outside. Then comes Inferno Storms and Clockburn Ballet. Also trying to run on is Lucia Fury and Dangerous Outcome, but it's still Radiant Party. Now Persuasive Rose gets to the front from Radiant Party and Persuasive Rose draws clear from Inferno Storms and Clockburn Ballet. Persuasive Rose is going to win it from Clockburn Ballet and Persuasive Rose. The jockey stopped riding it. He seemed to be ultra confident he'd won the race. Craig Allen wins with Persuasive Rose and that looks like a strong candidate for the Derby or the Oaks, I'm not sure if it's a male or female. Clockburn Bella behind that in second. Yeah, for the Oaks, Persuasive Rose, Craig Allen must be a strong challenge for the Oaks. Clockburn Ballet, David Robertson back in second. Inferno Storms, Paul Rhodes was back in third. Raiding Party led for a long way for Leon Van Fensel back in fourth. And Lucia Fury was back in first for Padre Gogan. Look at those draws 16, 15, 12, 19. We need to mod the courses that they take out the draw bias in the other courses. It makes a massive difference for the league.